Hello guys and welcome to my first YouTube video. This is I've just created recently my YouTube and the idea is to start uploading some some videos consisting mostly on games I play against other opponents that are usually high ranked in, in the ladder and maybe also some posts re regarding Age of Empires like some um, gameplay analysis or stuff about Age of Empires so in this first video I'm gonna show you how one of the, the strats or or the my ideas on how to play the map for decks so I'm playing as Italians here and my opponent is Goku is one a player a high ranked player from Brazil and he's playing Hans so basically Hans isn't a very common civilization for this map for lakes mostly everyone chooses like a, a good hybrid hybrid civilization like Persians Japanese or maybe Italians I, I believe that the top civilization for this map and mostly for water, water maps is Persians probably Italians come come close a second and also Japanese are very good Vikings are also good by, but they lack the fire galleys which hurts hurts them a lot in feudal age but they are really strong in castle with long boats also in imp I don't think unless unless the water is very very big I don't think they can beat fire galleys too but that's just an, my opinion I, I might need to, to test it more or, or or play against that more so what I'm doing here as Italians is or the idea of this game is try to control most at least three pawns two for sure and try to control three or four pawns and also try to scout well the land to avoid any aggression from, from my opponent so like the, the big door is basically uh, the same you have six six villagers on the ships and then four villagers, four villagers on wood and then you, you start with a boar you build the, the house for the for the next top next builds and also you start building a dock you you can dock generally with the 13th or 14th villager here it's very important here to scout the map around well watch this stuff like here you can notice if, if the enemy might come to try to kill your fishing ships with this so generally the idea is to wall this part too try to wall here a bit then wall here and, and maybe try walling a bit here too if you are well protected on the land and you control at least three legs you will have an, a, a, a very important lead in the game and that's what this game is about at least this map Fishing in this map is really, really important. Also, as my opponent discounts, which is not a very common pick here, you have to be extra careful in not getting attacked or raided by, by scouts, and you need to scout very well. That That's very important. So, generally, what's good about Italians here is that your fishing ships are a bit cheaper, and also that upping to the next age, age is is a lot cheaper too so that helps a lot for this type of map At, so far the opening is, is very common you see he's trying to, to scout my dog so maybe a bit late but if, if you can't scout it earlier if you scout your your eight chips and two boars fast enough and, and your surroundings fast enough you can try to to deny his the opponent's dog with the scout if he doesn't wall his villager because he's, he's, he usually doesn't have loom so fast so that really helps a lot too so far everything is mostly standard here I'm preparing my walls with these houses too and trying to up soon probably with 4 fishing boats and around 25 population with, with builds finishing already finished both wars and finishing the, the rest of the food so as soon as I can up usually you don't require to up so fast in this map because you, you can use the advantage of the other pawns 
and there's very little aggression you see my opponent already starting walling to prevent any any sneaky build to kill his fishing boots and he's also making a second dock on his own pond to to pump up the production of his fishing boats so like i said i'm walling here walling here it's very important not to get an enemy villager here because this is like your main fishing lake and if you lose it you, you will lose a, a great part of your economy as my opponent is hands i decide to make a barracks just in case usually you don't need a barracks if you scout good enough like if i see like my opponent is already walling this barracks is probably unnecessary because you need to focus mostly on getting another dock in another pond and try to already dominate another pond so far i, I can continue make the production of fishing boats here because i know that this pond will be most likely protected already for my walls usually it's good to send one fishing boat to this place and the, another fishing boat to this corner just to keep an eye on on that unless you are already sure that he he didn't cake i mean as you can see i'm already fully walled even though my boot lands are very vulnerable to archer attacks or tower attacks having this all this wood at the front is a bit bad but overall the map is easy to wall and the goal is on the back so we are both at feudal age already both have a barracks he's, he's still on one pawn i'm already making building my second dog but i chose like only one dog at my pond and he's going two even though he has only five fishing boats i have already six and i'm producing here a new fishing boat because I already scouted this and he doesn't dock yet even though I might need to get a fire galley just to deny him the, his, his, the dog, a dog of his own so I scout here his base he's fully walled already and building a, a, his castle range and he's building a blacksmith I would expect that he might be going to castle soon because and he, he will most likely add cavalry archers to his to, to his army so that means that i need to prepare for that usually against hans it's very predictable his castle age will be like two or three ranges most likely three and go go cavalry archers but against other civilizations it's very likely like persians for example that which they are really really good in this map more likely that like, they will open night so going archers isn't the best option because they are they are not very mobile here and you need to need to have a high mobility because once you lose or you go away from the walls it's very hard to defend from different places especially with this type of wood opening and only having one goal inside so I already got here, I keep, I keep making fishing from everywhere, here too I have eight, I need to do more and I'm already doing fishing boats in this lake too. I started, I opened with, directly with fishing boats because I already scouted that he's not here. You can see that I scouted here, he's not here and there's a, a wolf here, a leopard, so I'm sure he isn't here because that, he sh this, this guy should be dead. Also the leopard is here, so i know he's not trying to do something weird around this place so i'm already going to castle age making archers from one archer range i'm making the gold upgrade because i need it also i have the boot upgrade just as soon as i hit feudal age and the mid upgrade is necessary because in this map you will only need farms at late castle in if you already dominate three lakes like i have you don't need the farms because all your wood will be used on fishing boats and your food will be very high with this and as soon as you hit castle, castle age you can do the fishing the gathering fishing bonus upgrade which moves up your fishing a lot so far i couldn't hit his leg because his, his was already walled but it's usually a good idea if the opponent doesn't wall to try to stick a build like around here here and make a dog there or around here and make a dog here so 
right? Just I added a second archery range because I know what's coming. He, he's already on three ranges. I didn't I, I didn't scout this, but as I mentioned before, cans are very predictable in this stuff. So I knew, kinda knew he was gonna open at least two ranges cavalry archers. Also, well, uh, this is just useless. This bill is going back to to chop some bull. Okay, so I I had a faster castle age than him. He's trying to. I didn't spot this. He's trying to. This this is weird because I, I have like some kind of vision, but it's very small. Probably need. I don't know if town town watch helps to to improve the vision here, but. This is, will be hard on my fishing ship because he has two dogs and already has some, some fire galleys. So, and I already have like seven seven fishing boats. So this was kind of a mistake from me because you need to have one fire at least to scout. I'm losing the fishing here. In the meantime, I'm adding ballistics here and moving to with crossbows to the side. He's got cavalry archers. My wood line is very vulnerable to that. I already added ballistics here. I added coarse collar to start making farms soon with barrow, both of to improve the the wood income, and also added the the dock upgrade and stone mining because you need stone for for a soon for a castle before going to him. As I mentioned, I was faster to, to castle probably because of my bonus of Italians that upping is a bit cheaper. So I curtailed a bit his his woodland with with my crossbows. These are enough to crossbows for, so far for now to deal against these six cavalry archers which are upgraded already with we have same upgrades here. I believe he 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 doesn't have bloodlines yet which we might hurt him a bit. He doesn't have a stable. He's still on one on one TC because he focused so much on the wood on this on this uh, pond. And well, I lost the fish. He's starting to fish here. So now both of us are in two ponds. The only difference is that I didn't waste so much much wood in doing this, but I lost my fishing boat there. I don't think that going crossbows is a very smart idea in this map, but knowing that I'm facing a hand opponent that goes cavalry archers, it's okay. Even though cavalry archers against crossbows, you need to micro a lot to beat them. He's probably gonna try to dock here and deny my fishing boats. And I'm making a third TC now, so... I... The, the good thing about the Italians here is that I will up to him much faster than him. Why? Be because again, upping is much easier. Ein. So I'm not adding now a fire galley here because I, I know there's a dog coming. I see the bill even and the leopard came. And here I might with good micro kill some, some cavalry archers. And this, this reinforcement really add. Also, ballistics is very important here because it helps a lot. Especially against moving targets like cavalry archers. He doesn't have ballistics. He does have bloodline now because they they are the cavalry archers went from 50 to 70. That's very important to spot. And also denying trying to deny the dog is very important because I'm only on two pawns now, and he's also on two pawns. So I need to protect this as soon as I can. So I should get the the upgrade here. To, so I can pump faster fire ships than him and deny his second dog. With this I can I can do better. And also I'm on three TCs while my opponent is still on one. He's just adding a university probably for ballistics and getting the stable for, for bloodlines. So the idea against this is as I have ballistics, I need to try to keep his cavalry archer count low because a high cavalry archer is very bad it's, because if he adds a mangonel or something like that, I will be very, very pressured against that, and he can punish me for it. So I already started mining here. I'm, I will be up and soon to him, and I think a faster imp will give me a, an advantage, at least against 
this type of stuff. I know that Hans are very aggressive in Castle Age, so I need to try to defend the most I can. And if I can defend in late castle, I should have the advantage. So I should be up now. I, I was. Uh, this is a small mistake, well, not really very small. It's important because I already have much enough wood and, and gold to up, even if I don't use the Italian bonus. But but I needed my second building, and the monastery is also good. I should have done it before to grab these relics. While I, I'm dominating the land because. Oh, basically ballistic. The early ballistic gave me the advantage. I can keep his his cavalry archers count low, and also thumbring is very important for him. He does have a lot here already, and so he's investing a lot in his castle army, which I didn't because I had I didn't have that much of crossbows. And with good micro, even with low numbers, I can kill some of his cavalry archers. He already added a force archery range. He's making like a ton of builds, but still be on one TC. So he's he has only 55 villagers, while my build count is a bit low considering I have three TCs. But I have some TCs idle, which again that that's another mistake. You should still be pumping builds even in ink. Like a, a a good number of builds is around at least 100 for for this map. And if you can dominate the ponds, you, you should have like 20 or more fishing boats, probably around 10-15 in your first pond and around 10 in your second and probably if you had a third, you, you should need like still 8 fishing ships. So he's starting to raid me. He's his castle army is very strong now because he's pumping non-stop from four places. He can imp soon too. And he's probably adding mangonels here. So all I ha all I have to do is just gain some time. Try to fight from the, the hill here. Get my upgrades. I have four ranges now. Need to get my my arbalest upgrade. Fighting here, even though it's a bad idea because because I need to upgrade my my army to imp. I have the heal bonus, so if this is good enough, I, I didn't need it to go back. So so far 46. My build count is still low. His build count is very low too. He only added a second TC. Still on here is 30 TC. He added it very late. But he's going to imp, so those few minutes are good enough for me to already have Bracer, Arbalest, and probably Chemistry soon. Just need the go the, the food he here, which is a bit low because I only I'm only on two ponds and not that many fishing boats, so that's why I started adding farms. And this castle will help a, a bit to expand. So again, ballistic thumb ring very important here. And making a mangonel too, just to counter a bit of his skirms. He's probably going full ramp here. Might want to try to upgrade to not siege ramp, but the battering ramp. Not sure, not, don't remember, not battering ramp, the, the other, the middle one, I don't remember the, the name. And probably trying to, to raid a bit with his cavalry archers, although he does know I'm fully walled and even have houses here. Even though my builds can chop here, on the, on the, at the same time I'm trying to raid him a bit. I, I can make good use of the extra rage here, and his skills can shouldn't hit me here. So I'm producing, still producing builds now. I'm producing now. I should uh, produce more builds in castle. That that's something you should always take into consideration. My pawns still have. A, this one still has quite some fish. This is about to, to end soon. Making rebuchets on my own, so I keep full skills here. This again, I should have made some type of work here. Getting ready here, losing, losing a bit here. So he's coming with the ramps. I'm still only on our balance here. I I will need to get some other units soon. 
no, I don't I don't remember if I lose this castle. I played this like a week or ten days ago. He's still raiding me from everywhere. He's already a team. And he's making full skill now from still from four archer range. Well, his spawn also already ran out because he had 12 fishing boots. This spawn is still very, looking very good. Even though I, I might lose this castle, he has very little army. Just focus on raiding. We, here we lose, lost a lot and I have a lot of Arvales fully upgraded here. All I need is my, my uh, third armor and also I need chemistry, which is very important. So as you can see, there's a lot of mistakes I made in this game, but I'm still in the game and I can probably do more damage than him so far, even though we are both on two points. He still does, didn't upgrade the cavalry archers and he has only slit skirmishers. This right here, so he has to use skirms to stop this, which aren't that good and this is really hurting hurting him the build count is a bit low for both of us like he's at 73 and i'm at 81 and we are constantly raiding each other there's no main push while both of us have two pawns extremely protected making a switch now to Kassar to Kusar, no, not Kassar because I will need that to kill skins. So again, the raiding everywhere is hurting a bit. My raiding is hurting him a lot too. Build count low, low for both of us, both very similar, so that's why we need to keep doing builds. But the difference is <coughs> this he's only raiding me with this now and this. And I'm like in the herd of his town with this and he has no big counter. As you can see, both of us have chemistry already. I I still haven't made the third upgrade for the archers. I'm not sure if Italians get it. I'm gonna check. Yeah, they do. So I should have done that a bit faster. I have the economy for it. I already have capable round. He, he doesn't, so that, that's gonna... So some some of the skill damage here. So he's still heavily raiding me and already nine this. So far the game looks very very even. Both at similar pop two. Exactly the same. So this game could be for anyone. The, the thing is he has a bit of more map control even though I'm raiding him here. And that that's probably to his advantage, but I have a better army so far. And it, as, as soon as I start adding light caps and hussars, they will deal okay with the skirms. He did deny my raid, I denied his, so we are back to to a, a same an even place. I've got ca one castle protecting this part, making traps, and the other castle is the one I lost. So once I settle my economy again, I should be doing a lot more food and gold. I'm not taking gold here because I ran out. I need to grab this one and this one. That's why I already, already made the switch to light cab also to, to go against the skirms. So he got upgrade already David Ram and he's, he's just massing skirms. I mean, the cavalry archers aren't KV upgraded yet. So with, with light cap it will give me a good advantage on raiding, like this part is very very open and easy to raid. And my light cap should be try to raid him everywhere. I, I suspect that he's very hard, hard on fishing here with with this and there's little fish on our ponds already. So whoever has a better economy and army in in land should win now. Fighting on the hill is really important because you get the bonus, so that's why we are not facing each other. And I'm taking this goal and this goal, like I said. Also, upgrading a bit my light cap and massing them. I'm
Yeah, they get Hussar. I kinda didn't remember that while checking. So, once I pump up my eco, I, all, I have a 83 builds. That's still not good enough. He, he has a lot more. He has been working on making builds non stop. On 3 TCs, I have 4 TCs. And I'm making now also builds. This is something you should always do. Like between 100 and 130 builds is the, the usual amount that's good. Even though you can lose a lot in raiding, like this place, it really hurt him. Also, I made the monastery but didn't make a monk, and this is should be very important. A monk here can gather this relic and this relic at least. And there's a now relic. There's relics everywhere. We didn't even. He didn't even get a monastery, I think. So, so far, having the heal and, and getting the heal is the most important thing. He has these idols because I'm breaking him very hard here and now here. Like, that's what light cap are good for. Also, upgrading my Kusar here and still making some, some light caps and some rams. Probably Italians don't get siege ram, I think. Let's check again. No, they don't. They get bomber cannons, which are very good. So, a good combo can be Arbales or Hankanur, Hankanoner, some skiers maybe, and Hussars and a bomber cannon with a few KP rams. So, Hussars should really help do some damage to his economy. You, you can see that he's raiding me a bit, but it's not hurting me. I want here, I have a good castle here to stop some raids. And it, he might raid me this side. He did me. This is very easy to raid. Also, I think I overmoved my Arbalest here. That wasn't necessary. But still, you can see that having a castle on the hill, I secured this hill and he secured his here. So if I can take this hill, I should win the game. Let's see if he, he goes for. He's raiding me here that I have to move. So let's see if he goes for. For this pot, having Hussar here, my my Arbalest army is moving. He, all his army is here already. I'm at almost 90 builds and 170, 180 pop, and he's 160, but with 100 villagers. So his eco should be a bit better. This is one big fight. My Hussar still needs some upgrades as well as my Arbalest. Other than that, I should be fine fighting up here because he still has cavalry archers and not heavy cavalry archers. And his Hussars have the same upgrade, so my Arbalest should clean this up and this is a, a villager fest, I think. Very nice. He needs to back up the builds because his build count will go down fast, really, really fast. And when I do that, I should add some rams. Bombard cannons should be good here too. And keep doing some hussars everywhere and try to raid all his mouth. He's also added a DC here. So my main Arbalest army will do big, huge damage. And I should try to make, have hussars everywhere on the map. Everywhere possible. And keep pumping Arbalest because I still have the goal. Also pumping some traps might work. But here, my Arbalest, even though he has skills, his skin card is very low and I can take this fight. Still, he still doesn't have the upgrade, but he did the defense upgrade here. And all I'm doing is keep pumping Hussars. Like, I'm floating a lot of wood here. I should add some farms, which I don't remember if I do. Or I'm mo more focused on the battle. I'm raiding him here, raiding him here, raiding him everywhere. So his wheel count, his army count just disappeared. This game most likely is over soon. And I have still enough stone to make a defensive castle probably here. But that's pretty much all. I mean, once you control the map and your big push wins, it's hard to stop that because his economy is probably as you see, I don't have any idols, my, my economy is untouched, even though I, I'm floating like a lot of wood here that I should use to for farm, like here. And also my fishing boats are using the fish trucks already, I still have some fish here. My economy is like perfect, untouchable, while he's, he's getting raided everywhere, except here, I think. Like here, 
the big push already won here getting ready here getting ready here like he has 90 bills a lot of idols and no no army so i just wanted to show you a, a way one of the ways you can play this matchup so remember it's very important to try to control three pawns at, at least and scout the land as much as you can to avoid any any unnecessary attacks that that might catch you catch you off guard and that just that can lose you the game because if you don't wall and have your land protected you can just lose even if you have two or three pawns and he only has one so that's it for today i hope you enjoyed this this video and if you enjoyed it and enjoyed my few tips please subscribe to my channel i'm gonna try to keep adding content like like other games and some tips from for age of empires even though i i'm still learning a lot of the game and i just came back to the game around a month ago so thank you guys for watching and please subscribe to my channel to keep enjoying the content See you soon.